What's up guys? This is HH Trader back with another video. Um, again, we're talking about the Charles Swap setup. Last video we talked about creating charts and the chart settings. So let's go ahead and create something else here. I will just put this up here in the side. And let's go ahead and go to our lunch tools. And the next thing we want to talk about is let's go ahead and do screeners the screener plus and sectors all right so you click that and it'll pop up this new window here that is your screener now in the screener um, on the by default when it opens up it gives you a list of pre-made preset screen types OK, so if you like the um, trade options or if you're trading stocks or whatever you're trading, they have different types of pre-made screeners over here. All right. And they also have some already opened up over here. Now, uh, you can you can always close these by hovering over with your cursor and you'll see this little X pop up if you want to create your own screens, though which I'm going to show you in this video that's what we're going to work on so let's go ahead and get rid of these that are already open and let's just uh, we can close all of them and we'll just hit this plus button that'll open us a new screener now a lot of times this this screen right here is uh, very crunched in so we want a bigger workspace we want to see more on in this in this panel so let's go ahead and maximize it and it will maximize it within this within this canvas here and we'll go ahead and click that button it'll maximize it there and we can also close this little side tab here all right, so with the screener, it's going to give you a lot of options to kind of narrow down what you're looking for. Uh, they have a basic portion. They have the analysis ratings, uh, company performance, price performance, metrics, and the technicals. Now, let me just go over some of this because there is a lot to look at and you'll probably be able to go more into it. So for me and the things that I'm looking for when I'm trading uh, with these screeners is I'm looking for the market cap and if you don't know the market cap is basically whatever the price of the ticker is multiplied by the outstanding shares so I want to know is it a large cap small cap mid cap micro cap whatever it is I want to know that on the trading day or in my scanner so I can set that however I want and to set any of these up all you need to do is check check mark this and you will see that it'll have a little drop down section where you can select what number or what value you want to use within this uh, particular option now when you check this over here it will also be checked over here to display this specific option so if you don't want it to display but you do want this screener to be a part of the screen you can just uncheck this display button and it won't display when you hit results here so let me go and uh, display this right now and if we go to results we'll see market cap out here okay if we go back out here and we don't want to display we uncheck the display the this will still be active in our screener but it won't show out here alright let's continue going down uh, market cap we can always do the drop down uh, you can do the regular market cap the difference between market cap and another whatever another um, feature you can do the difference uh, in percentage between market cap to another feature so let's say market cap is and we have a drop down box here greater than greater than equal to equal to less than or equal to less than and between and for our value we can select any value that is accessible in Charles Schwab basically uh, with this drop down you can select any kind of value here all of the different functions you can compare your market cap to if you want it to be higher lower or equal to any of these values 
and if you just want to type in a specific number you can do that as well alright uh, and that'll be the it's the same premise within the rest of this as well uh, the next thing that I look for is what's the exchange uh, the exchange they have the NASDAQ the NYSE Amex NYSC uh, and all of these small caps what I'm looking for is things in the NASDAQ in the NYSC and in the uh, I believe it's the NSE NSE stocks is usually what I trade I try to stay away from the OTC stocks some of those are very very um, they don't have news people don't really trade them like that and they really don't get a lot of attention because they've fallen out of the NASDAQ requirements um, the next thing uh, if you are a long-term investor and you want to see dividends well this is where you come for that you can actually select what kind of dividends that you want to view or look for within your functions um, so the next one is dividend yield really don't use that one but last trade where is the last price that this this um, that the pr the price action was um, active at so was it active uh, let's say if, for me I trade above two dollars I want to know that the last trade here is greater than two dollars just like that or if you're looking for greater than a dollar greater than 50 cents whatever you want to put in there and you can also switch to say less than so if you want to see things above I mean below uh, twenty dollars below ten dollars you can also switch that up but it's the same across the board here all right and I think that I went over everything uh, the other thing is criteria and matches and screen matches so how many tickers match your specific screen and then how many um, matches based on each uh, individual criteria is met so let's say if I set up a market cap of a hundred or uh, let me say uh, one one million one billion I want to see a market cap under 1 billion, right? So I'll do that just like that. And in here, it's going to tell me how many tickers meet this criteria alone, okay? And then on the screen matches, how many are actually accessible on the screen is 50. It could be lower than this as you start to get more specific on the way down. Uh, it'll start getting to like 25 and 10 and as you narrow down you have less stocks to look at but if they're meeting your criteria that's what we want we want to be able to visualize the stocks that are meeting our criteria uh, let's see the other thing is the update time so Charles Schwab scanners updates the fastest time is 15 seconds you can adjust this I don't know why you would uh, I don't know why you would want to increase the time of your updates for a scanner to be looking around or to update where you can see new stocks I always have it at 15 seconds um, they also have some different actions out here if you want to create a new screen uh, if you want to open predefined screens we looked at that over there uh, right in this little arrow this is just a little quick drop down for it uh, you can open a screen from a file so let's say if you save the screen maybe on another computer or something like that you can open or not on another computer if it's coming from a file it needs to be on the computer that you're working on but uh, you can load those back into Charles Schwab let's say if you needed to maybe get rid of the uh, re-download or something like that you can always bring it back into Charles Schwab all right so um, let's see we have closed screen rename screen duplicate screen uh, view description of the screen so we can see screen one search criteria top 50 stocks whose market cap is greater than 1 billion and it should be less than for the stocks that I want to trade last trade is greater than zero so it tells you all of the criteria and the refresh period in the screen description alright uh, export results so if we're exporting the results what we're doing is once we build our screener once we build our screener um, we'll be able to 
will be able to take those results uh, in that screener and maybe save it to a file if we want to keep an eye on those specific stocks or we can send them to somebody whatever you want to do with them alright so what else do we have here we went over all of this went over the results uh, whatever is selected whatever different features or options that you have ticked out here if you click this button here and make sure it's checked it's going to only show you what the uh, changes that you have made it'll cut out everything else so if you don't see anything here you need to make sure you uncheck this to get the rest of your options and you can always hit the clear all button to clear everything back out all right let's see let's see columns settings I believe I need to go through that in this video um, let's go ahead and do that so columns and settings in the columns and settings you you can also turn on and off different and let me go to the results so you can see the changes that I make alright so columns and settings now for right now we see that let me see if I can minimize no I can't minimize this any alright anyway uh, we see the symbol description last trade volume all of these are over here in the column order you can easily switch the column order so let's say if I wanted the market cap to be in front of the dividend we'll see that well actually I need to press OK for it to switch out here right now dividend market cap if I hit OK you'll see that switch right there let's go back in there to the columns and the settings and now let's say if we wanted to take some of the things off that we really don't want to see like the description maybe the dividend um, we want the market cap we want the volume uh, we may not want let's see what else is down here that's checked okay nothing else down here is checked let's say if we wanted to see maybe an SMA which is a uh, the simple moving average over 10 days simple move average over five days we could get any of those um, values put onto this scanner let's get the high let's get the low and I think that's all and you can also they have a search menu here so if you if you know what it's called you can type it in so if I was looking for market cap and I typed in market or mark it brings up what contains this word let's go ahead and press OK and another thing you can do is you can manipulate the range so or I say the range the size of each individual field here so we we can manipulate the rank the size here however it is and especially when you make this smaller and you want to see everything on one page you may want to scrunch it in a little bit so that everything fits here right there alright so we wanna be we wanna be um, very good managers of the space that we are given alright I believe I did everything in columns and settings let's go to the colors colors what is uh, click on the color squares to choose a new color alternating row background I am not gonna change that uh, the font direction neutral which is black really and truly the colors in this one really aren't going to affect it a lot uh, when you highlight something you could change how your highlight looks so you can actually select any of the colors here I leave all of these on default and if you make a mistake in here you can always hit this button which is re reset to default colors um, another thing is you can apply all of the colors that you do change in here to all of the screeners that you create after this one or to all of the tabs that you create uh, after this one let's go ahead and get out of that alright what have we not gone over this one also has the streamline button so with the streamline it's going to get rid of the tab and it's going to get rid of this this top top portion here so if I hit this streamline button we'll only see the stocks that meet our criteria here right if we want to see the tabs again we can hit this streamline button and we'll see our tabs again now if we're in the stream lab uh, in the streamline sometimes we don't want to go back to the uh, standard view because it'll mess up how our actual 
how many tickers we can see at one time. So to switch tabs another way, you can actually hit this tab drop down and you can switch tabs this way. Uh, if you wanted to add a new screen, you can do that here as well. It'll add another tab and it'll take you out of the streamline view and it adds another tab. But if you go back into the streamline view and you hit tabs, you'll see screen one and screen two right there. All right, so this is the screener. I believe I might have gone over everything in this one. Uh, the font, you can always make this font bigger uh, if you want to see it a little bit better here. As you can see how big it got there. I usually leave it relatively small. I, I mean, I could make them bigger, but it's okay with me. Um, you can apply uh, to all results tabs if you want to and that's it for that right now I'm just showing you showing you a little bit of the basis I believe I went through everything here also with your screener <clears throat> you can link tabs so uh, I think I still got yeah so right now this tab link symbol is the same as this tab link symbol right so whatever ticker I pick over here will immediately be chosen over here okay and it doesn't matter what tab that we're in because both of these tabs are inside this particular screener so let's do WTM and we'll see over here the chart changes because there is a link between these two if I unlink this right here unlink and I select another tab nothing happens right but if I link it back and do that or wait wrong one there then I go to Y you see it's linked back uh, that is about it with with the uh, screener plus you can actually save a watch list so let's say if I created this particular watch list and I save this watch list as whatever uh, I guess it would be called screener one if we go over here this is save screens I need to look for saved watch list if I can get to it saved watch list where was the watch list you can actually create a saved watch list and actually create a new tab for it I think I'll do that in another video um, but anyway if you go over to the criteria you can actually save a particular screen so screen one if I save that screen and I go in here I go to my save screens we'll see screen one is in there okay uh, if you have any questions or comments about what you saw in this video please let me know in the comment section I'm trying to make these a little shorter um, don't forget to like and subscribe and as always I will see you in the next one peace